I feel like I'm living out of my car. <laughs> Pulled my shoes out this morning, left the old crocaroonies in here. I didn't take the suitcase in last night in case I woke up the little man. Shit. So I was like, you know what? We won't wake him up. Honestly, I have no idea if the video right now is upside down or not. Oh. But today, it's, I've got so much going on, but I want to explain, I want to share like how I prioritize things, especially with ADHD. And it can be so chat, just shut up Ollie, let's do it. Okay, let's go. Honestly, I didn't plan on filming this bit. But this is something that I've seen do really well in videos, which is when you go in to pick up one thing, you take a whole shopping cart. So I'm picking up chewing gum for the chewing gum video, surprisingly. You take a whole shopping cart, put one thing in the shopping cart. People seem to go nuts over it. So now I just do it every time. Which is silly. Dude, check these out. So these little skittles I guess this is do I I'll just explain how ideas come to me like I see these and I think I did a video of how much chewing gum I could fit in my mouth I did two million and so like what about a comparison how many of those you can fit in your mouth versus normal skittles okay all right as someone with ADHD this is probably the best skill that I've learned okay so we use this box, we've got <laughs> Shrek Crocs. <laughs> okay. I just want, I want a bit of this. I'm gonna use this to explain, I guess this is like Casey nice that style, isn't it? Bloody hell. I saw cutting that going a lot smoother in my head. All right, yeah, let's, you, you can come over here. Yes. All right, so let's say you have 10 tasks to do. Now we're gonna do six because I'm not very good at aligning it. <laughs> six tasks to do, so we have task, Right now, these aren't prioritized, right? You've just kind of like written down the things that you have to do. So what I would do separate these, okay? So as someone with ADHD, you would typically get overwhelmed by all these things that you have to do. And so you, you look at all your tasks, you say, I don't even know where to start, and you just end up not starting on anything. What a brilliant demonstration that was. But actually, if you just take task by task and start slotting them, like that's kind of lowish, prior, medium priority. This one, I know I need to get done, right? Because this one is gonna impact this task. So. That one I know is gonna to have to go above there. And then this one, let's just say I need to get that done first and foremost. So that's gonna go at the top. And left with the other tasks, and you just prioritize them appropriately. Now you have a gorgeous little list that's prioritized, and you just take from the top, get it done, and just keep going down the the down this. <laughs> now I use a method that I've been using in software engineering project management as a way to manage what tasks it's done. What am I talking about? You have a list of all your tasks. They get moved to, I'll just show you. <laughs> all right, so here we have a sprint, which is essentially just a week of work and you plan it all out day by day. Now let's say like it's Thursday today. So I put in all the tasks that I had this morning and I have prioritized them. So the system is such that I just take off the top here 
and I move over to this column, which is the in progress column. And then when I'm done working on it, you put it to completed. I know, mind blowing, but it really helps you stay on task and get one to completion before starting the next task. So you take that nice little, this nice little thing that we did over here, over there, you throw it into this. So you, the travel day UK edit, it's two videos before this one. Let's, let's get cracking on that. <laughs> they are so bad. Ruga, what do you think of my shoes? Ruga. You've never seen Shrek, so you don't know what the heck those are. What are they? <gasps> Shrek shoes! You're not bothered, are you? <laughs> uh, I, um, I'm laughing because I'm having to show you this, but I just finished the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> so, do you remember we talked about how we just have some stupid... some stupid AI thing in the thumbnail? So I, I typed in... What's the prompt here? Photorealistic, high detail, yellow airplane in sky. And we've got an airplane with no front. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm thinking now I just, it's just a screen grab from the video and then something AI that's weird in it. And then we'll see if you, <laughs> maybe you can comment what you think was weird about the thumbnail. <laughs> I love that. I'm very pleased with that, how that's come out. <laughs> you know, I've had, so much that I've wanted to get done today, but <clears throat> we had some uh, some people across the road were doing some siding changes to their house, and so we looked at we asked them to come and look at some stuff that we needed done. Ended up taking like two hours of my day up to try and get that all sorted, and then you end up dropping about five grand on stuff you don't really care about, <laughs> and by care about I mean siding on a house. What's my point out of that? My, my point is that it's so difficult when you have a plan for the day and you get disrupted, but I think being able to pivot, being able to adjust what you want to get completed and not being annoyed at what you haven't been able to complete, I think is pretty important. Uh, and I mentioned the anchor video that I had to do. We've now managed to turn that into two videos. And so we have like four days before the first video goes live we just signed the contract today. So I need to work on the first concept video now. So that's gonna be a priority over what else was coming next. Get that done. So I think we're working on that next. You know, I've just realized that I didn't actually... Got me itchy, you have got me itchy my balls, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, realize I haven't actually timed myself eating this chewing gum. But lucky you though, look at the packet differences between, so this one is UK gum. Come on, UK gum, US gum. I find that so interesting across, you'd think that chewing gum would be universal, wouldn't you? In terms of the customer base and what they would look for in a product, but it's funny how it's different across the two markets. So while I time this, we'll work through the script for the chewing gum part. Uh, timer. I'm going to screen record this as well. Microphone on just for the, the giggles. I've got to press record now. And there we go. What am I doing? So to start the second video, I need to finish the first one. Do I? Because we've got how long the flavor lasts. Well, we don't because we're doing that now, but speaking in round terms, let's just say we do. No. <clears throat> so I made this chat, this GPT prompt a while back. I might use it now. So I, it's essentially 
my whole video making uh, formula. But where I have an idea for like, let's just show you. So I'm not sure if you remember or you've seen the other videos, but each of these is basically a question that needs to be filled out. And so I have the prompt set up so that like if I know what the climactic choices are that I want to have in the video, I can stick that into the prompt. Essentially, this is where it comes from my uh, software engineering background. You have variables in soft... How am I speaking? In software engineering, we'll call it coding. In coding, I need to chew, but I need to speak. <laughs> In coding, you have variables. So let's say, let's just do it over here. Let's say you have x. Let's use the right pen. What does x equal? x equal could be the word sausage. x could also equal 2. Right? You Whatever you want to set, you can put into x's so the x now represents whatever you have set to store in it so when i'm making this prompt it's whatever the crisis is i can take something just a number a phrase a single word and i can store that into the crisis variable so to speak does that make sense you know i've just realized that i didn't actually Got me itching. You have got me itching my balls. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, realize I haven't actually timed myself eating this chewing gum. But lucky you, though. Look at the packet differences between. So this one is UK gum. Come on, UK gum, US gum. I find that so interesting across. You'd think that chewing gum would be universal, wouldn't you? in terms of the customer base and what they would look for in a product. But it's funny how it's different across the two markets. So while I time this, we'll work through the script for the chewing gum part. Uh, timer. I'm going to screen record this as well. Microphone on just for the, the giggles. I've got to press record now. And there we go. What am I doing? So to start the second video, I need to finish the first one. Do I? Because we've got how long the flavor lasts. Well, we don't because we're doing that now, but Speaking in round terms, let's just say we do. No. <clears throat> so I made this chat, this GPT prompt a while back. I might use it now. So I, it's essentially my whole video making uh, formula, but where I have an idea for like, Let's just show you. So I'm not sure if you remember or you've seen the other videos, but each of these is basically a question that needs to be filled out. And so I have the prompt set up so that like, if I know what the climactic choices are that I want to have in the video, I can stick that into the prompt. Essentially, this is where it comes from my uh, software engineering background. You have variables in soft. We'll, how am I speaking? In software engineering, we'll call it coding. In coding, I need to chew, but I need to speak. <laughs> in coding, you have variables. So let's say, let's just do it over here. Let's say you have. X. 
let's use the right pen. What does X equal? X equal could be the word sausage. X could also equal two, right? You, whatever you want to set, you can put into X's. So the X now represents whatever you have set to store in it. So when I'm making this prompt, it's whatever the crisis is, I can take something, just a number, a phrase, a single word, and I can store that into the crisis variable, so to speak. Does that make sense? Main character tests if there's a difference in how long the flavor in chewing gum lasts between the same brand from two different countries. Let's say the floor Characteristic the character is trying to move away from in this case uh, Wanting to Look cool chewing gum And the strength is in this case, grammar is way off. So I guess I could just take what I've already got and put it into here. Set up want. Is there a, is to, we set this as to see if there's a difference in ingredients. Is there? Contains bioengineered food ingredients. Interestingly, the flavor is still going strong, but I'm trying to chew as much as I can. The ingredients aren't on the outside of the pack, whereas they are on the UK one, which might actually be I guess that's a good point. I haven't seen, oh, what am I showing you? Sorry, the, the, the English ones are the little pills, whereas the American ones are sticks. Why are we so orange? I don't know. Set up want is to see if there's a difference in ingredients. The point of no return. Um, I start chewing the chewing gum at the airport. Chewing gum at the airport and start the clock. Start the timer. The catch. I immediately drink cold water. Main character immediately drinks ice cold water. Main character starts 
main character wants to see if there's a difference in the ingredients. The process, okay. Um, main character wanders around looking for things to do. Then tries on expensive sunglasses and goes into expensive clothing store. Then the crisis, her main character hasn't purchased anything and plain begins to board. Climactic choice, the banana, I'm not sure. See, I'm not sure the right way is going to pick this up. Let's see. Um, as the time it takes for the chewing gum to finish. You know what, depending on what it comes up with here as the finish, I might show that I'm in economy seating. Because then that kind of gives the essence of from someone who doesn't care where they sit on a plane. really funny. So the banana, the climactic choice means that a, the main character has something crazy happen. Like in this case, it is that the plane starts boarding and they still haven't finished, they haven't purchased anything. And so then choices are they, I don't know, miss their flight. Like they keep shopping and miss their flight or they just walk to their flight. But we need a banana, which is like a third option, which the viewer just does not see coming. And so <laughs> the option I've been given here, forced by the crisis, which is the plane starts boarding, the main character has to make a choice. They decide to abandon their cool image and go for the unexpected option, a banana. <laughs> what do you, then wait, what? A charity donation box. That's interesting. Wow. So they donate instead of... Hmm. This is kind of a cool one. The banana is helping a lost child find their parents. I filmed this part of putting the chewing gum under the seat when I was finished with it. But one that wouldn't fit here, that needs to come after the final step, which is like understanding how long the flavor lasts, which is still going for now when we're at 12 minutes. Ah, mm. oh, what if... I pretend to offer someone some chewing gum on the plane.
Yeah, because this climactic choice is where the the main character moves away from their flaw, which is wanting to be cool. So instead of wanting to be cool now, they abandon the shops and they do something on the way to the gate. Clip of me in Heelys. I'm wearing a different shirt. Hopefully people don't notice too much. I think that's it. And then we get on the plane and I give the time. Because I think it's pretty safe to say someone wearing Heelys at the airport, not considered cool, right? I didn't, I mean, I didn't feel cool when I did it. <laughs> I think that's it. So the climactic choice is, oh, and that builds into the fact that the flight's already started boarding, I need to get to the gate. He leave uh, my way to the gate. Forget about needing to look cool and he leave my way to the gate. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the main gist of it for that. I'm trying to see if there's still flavor left. What is this pose I'm doing? What is that? I think we're nearly at the end. I'm almost ready to call it. I, I get this tingle every now and again. Honestly, 15 minutes. That's pretty decent. Yeah, I think after the water, we stop it there. 15.09. There we go. Stop the screen recording. Take a screenshot, don't know why. Uh, Time is 15.09. Call it 15 minutes, right? Okay. Now, yeah, so I'll set up want to find if there's a difference in ingredients because why? Why do we want to know that if there's a difference in ingredients? There are multiple, lots of foods banned. Foods banned in the U, but available in the US. Okay, we'll get back to that. So then the floor is wanting to look cool. And the floor is not needing to look cool. It's not really scripted, is it? <laughs> so then we'll go on to part two, and this is what I need to send off to the client to have them approve, which is where it's going to include the product. I actually need to run down my phone battery today because I want to test out just how fast this is because this charge is meant to charge between from 5 to 20% in like 9 minutes. And I'm, I didn't expect this to last 15 minutes. So, the floor, what is my floor for this video? Gone incognito. Uh, why am I looking down there? I want... White noise on repeat. 10 hours. And then let's get the brightness all the way up. Okay. It's not the 
one I wanted. I'm really not in love with how orange this looks. All right, I'm going to build the story out on here. Get rid of this malarkey. Oh, wait. I can post the video. Is it done? Jertner say pass. It is. Let's post it. Change it from unlisted to public. Publish. Okay. Oh, look, the videos have been going down in length. <sighs> Oh dear. <laughs> so weird. All right, so we know. So let's, I think, let's start with making some, let's bring you closer. Let's start with making some random notes. Like, I think something everyone Fs with, messes with, is the idea that everything in America is bigger better. So the expectation assume it's longer lasting. See, I, I really liked the airport idea. I, if you didn't watch the other video, the kind of reason why there's a part one to this video, which is a sponsored video, is that I think when you make series on TikTok, so TikTok I don't think is a very good platform for hitting the same audience again and again. I think it's horrendous for that. However, if you make a series, so every video leads on from the previous, TikTok's amazing for serving it to the same people. Like you've seen it before. You'll, you'll see one point of view of... Uh, why do people put their breakups online? I don't know. But like you'll see the woman's perspective of it and then like three TikTok down, you'll see the guy's perspective on it. How does that happen? <sighs> TikTok is just amazing for it. So that's a long-winded way of me saying the first video is to attract attention about the difference in chewing gum flavor. And if they enjoyed that video, the second video should get served to them and it works twofold. One, it's going to give them their answer that they've been looking for, that they didn't even know they wanted, but they're somehow interested in. And two, the ad performs better because it's within something that people are interested in and have like semi bought into, right? I think that's the way to advertise best on TikTok. So what is the story we're going to go through? So some things that we've established that the we don't know the difference in, we don't know ingredients. It's not, that's not a word, don't spell it like that. <laughs> we don't know the difference in ingredients, but does that really matter? I think, see, this is where I quite like the part two to this is because the first one, the first video kind of sets up the whole story and the second one, you kind of fill in the beginning of the video with what happened in the previous episode. So I think the one is to how long does UK gum last. The point of no return is that it lasts 15 minutes. But the catch is that that's longer than expected. So, longer than expected, which I thought max 10 mins, right? Which then feeds into this charger charges 
5% to 20% in 9 mins. Uh, begin race. So I start charging my phone. See, I kind of want in here to make a joke about everything in America being bigger and better, but I don't want to alienate the audience. My flaw is that I underestimate things. You go with that? I'm an underestimator. Oh well. Which fits into here, because that tests my floor. I don't even know if this is right. Do I say, like I want to find the difference. The UK gum yeah, I feel like this isn't right. Because I want to get into actually taking the gum quickly so that the viewer feels like they're actually getting into the video and not just a load of crap. So want is to see if there's a taste difference. So then I try it. I don't think it underestimates is the right word. Let's say I'm cynical. I'll find another a synonym for that. Because remember we need to keep at the fifth grade reading level, so cynical is basically I'm just I don't believe anything here. So I see if there's a taste difference. Point of no return. Try US gum. The catch is that, so in the previous video, once I took the English gum, the catch was that I stupidly drank some water and then it's like icy cold and hurts. Try US gum. Tastes mintier. And then let's say that's right, people say everything is bigger and better in America. But I don't believe uh, but I'm but I'm here to bust. You know, <laughs> I'm such a I'm so dopey right now. I <laughs> so I've got my phone going on white noise, okay, to try and get down to 5% to test this out. But I'm such a donkey that this is the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 15 is here. iPhone 15. Stupid man. Let's see how much battery this has. pull these off. Literally an arrow to tell you which way to pull it and I pulled it the wrong way. 
<laughs> the arrow is hidden under here, but there we go. Ew. Ew. That's the yellow. Look at the the iPhone 14 yellow. This is the 14. This is the 13. I was not expecting that. Is it on? Oh, cooey. All right, see you in a bit. I swear, you know when you get a code sent to your phone, but it doesn't automatically populate in an app or something, and you're trying to read it off the top as you type it in, I go like I don't even know what a number is. I can't even remember six digits in a row. I'm like reading the first three. I'm like sweating my life away. I feel like this is a good time to share one of my beliefs here, which is if I'm going to be doing a review of a product, like let's say this charger, right? So for this charger, I need this phone. Now the charger is the thing that I'm actually making the video on, not the phone. So I should test this out and see if it cracks up to what it's supposed to be. But if the video is about the phone, then I should test the phone and see, you know, test out what I'm thinking and what I'm actually going to talk about. But in this case, it's not about the phone, it's about the charger. And so I'll be taking the phone back because I don't need it. I'm just getting it for this video. I don't, I don't feel like that's a um, dishonest thing to do, is it? I don't think it is. Here's our new phone, and let's try it. There we go, we're charging. Good news, it works. All right, now I need to run down the battery. 24 hours of white noise. Okay. Well, that was quite the tangent to this video, wasn't it? All right, here's my current challenge. I mentioned that I want the viewer to feel like they're getting straight into it, which is me putting the American chewing gum in. But I want to st I want to state how long the UK one lasted for, and I need to be able to start the charging off at the same time that I take the gum. Which brings me back to here. So I want to see if there's a taste difference. I guess from the hook, that will explain that I'm trying to see how long the flavor lasts. And maybe I add in at the beginning, UK lasted 15 mints. So I want to see if there's a taste difference. So I tried the US gum and it tastes mintier, but people say everything's bigger and better in the US. But I... Oh, hold on a minute. Good, good, you done. Look at this Wookiee looking thing. That's that's a Wookiee, isn't it? What are you barking like that for? Good girl. Okay, play with you, Doc. Let's look up synonyms for uh, cynical. Again, chat GPT. Give me 20 synonyms at a fifth grade reading level for... You wanna sit up there, Duda? Good girl, go on then. Uh, the word cynical. Lila. 
Untrusting, I think, is the one we're going to go with. Like distrust. Thank you, chat GPT. But I people say everything is better, but don't believe. Yeah. I also heard um, also heard this charger and then like this is where you go into like the name of it at a high level charges 520 in 19 minutes begin race against Gum. Um, to make the test fair, fair Lila with iced water. The result, not sure yet. And then, hello, Lila. And then we get into the difficulties here. Yeah, just look at how this dog lies. Why do you lie like that? Why do you lie like that, you weirdo? <laughs> look at her. <laughs> oh. My feet aren't that bad, are they? <laughs> Stupid dog. <laughs> Alright, then we're going to have some other thing that we try in here. Which ends up getting us to our crisis mode. I think this point here should be that the charger reaches its goal, like let's say it does, which is then making me second guess my untrusting. Phone reaches 20% in X minutes. And the crisis is that, should I have some stake in the game here? As if like I want the UK one to last longer or be better. Lila, stay in here, please. I'm going to go and bark at the people doing the work. You stay here, please. Good girl. Right, like I should want the UK one to do better. Oh, man. Let's say I get to nine minutes. What's the result? And this result should be the crisis. Well, I guess... The crisis again is meant to test the floor, isn't it? Like, let's say we get to nine minutes and the phone has charged, the anchor's charger has done its job. And the crisis is that um, phone charges to then, but I don't want UK gum to lose to US gum. That's kind of stupid, but phone charge to 20%. And then because of the floor, all right, well, because everyone says American stuff is bigger and better, and I'm English, so I'm choosing that I do not trust this saying, the phone charges to 20%. I don't know. Frick, something <laughs> about distrust. I'm not sure yet. But then we can go into the climactic choice, which is Lila. 
So I can either keep chewing or pretend. Oh, wait. So phone charge to 20% and the flavor still strong. Then I can either keep chewing, pretend I never did this challenge. The banana, so basically I have to keep chewing. I'm not gonna just give up and quit it. So I have to keep chewing, see how much more charge the phone can get. So it depends what I say here. Like what if the phone charges to 20% and the flavors are still strong? Questioning why I've been so distrustful my whole life. Questioning why I don't trust. Yeah. So the opposite of distrust is trust. I do want to see how much more charge the phone can get in this time, but I also, maybe everything in America is bigger and better. Maybe US is bigger and better. I feel like that would go down quite nicely since the most of my audience are US based. <laughs> have a couple of back-to-back -back World War champs comments. <laughs> Maybe U US is bigger and better, right? Which means I'm moving away from my distrust of this thing right here, which is people say everything's bigger and better. And then the finale is lasted why did I do my X like that? It lasted X minutes. What's something I can do at the end of the video? Like the quick one I'm thinking about is like if this were the other way around, if this were the other way around, I would distrust that the timer was correct. Should we search for some myths that are proven true? Myths that are proven true. Give me a list of 20 myths that were proven to be true. And let's change that. So instead of give me a list of 20 myths that were proven to true, let's do modern myths that were proven to be true. And if this doesn't work, maybe I'll turn it to tech related myths. Give me a list of tech related myths and 20, yeah, so let's do 20 tech related and 20 food related myths. Let's see, the smell is so minty. Ah, so first one, Mac computers are immune to virus. That's the myth. The truth is that while they're less susceptible, Max can still get infected. Let's do, give me a list of 20 examples of a person showing trust. What if, so I like the idea of things looping back in. So what if I, my wife tells me something here, or I read online. Internet says everything is bigger and better in the US. So then the final bit is gonna be me, something about online and believing what people say. It lasted X minutes. Basically, it lasted X minutes and now I believe everything I see online. I'm not sure how to loop that in yet. 
Let's, what are some myths about chewing gum? Give me a list of 20 myths about chewing gum. How did I not think of that? Accidentally swallowed? <laughs> I was just thinking it would be an interesting video to do to like test that myth of what happens to gum, but then you you just think one step further and you're gonna have to be sorting through your own crap, aren't you? <laughs> so let's not do that one. It actually lasted X minutes. So I, I want to kind of show that I've gone the opposite direction. So I'm not, I'm now trusting, but I want to kind of go overboard to the, what's it called, gullible. Now I believe, okay. So it lasted X minutes. And and I believe my mum that gum in body for that gum stays in your body for you alright, Duda? <laughs> Seven years. Okay, Kapawi. So we're going from untrusting to trusting, almost gullible. So the glum gum lasted X minutes. Anchor. Got me to X, X percent. And I believe that my mum. I don't even know if I need that bit about gum staying in the body, actually. Because, I mean, it's a, it's a good example of showing that I'm now trusting. But I guess in the banana here, we can see that I'm moving away from distrusting to trusting. All right, let me stand back and read this. So this is US gum, this is UK gum, same brand. The UK lasted 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna see how long the US one lasts for. I wanted to see if there was a taste difference. So I tried the US gum and it tasted mintier. But my real goal is how long flavor lasts. Like this here, where I say it tastes mintier, that's a great way, a great place for me to put in my reaction, like Jinkies, which is obviously part of the branding. And then I can throw it in again with the iced water. It's how long flavor lasts. So I try the US gum, taste mintier, but my real goal is to how long it lasts. And the internet says everything is bigger and better in the US. But I don't believe everything I hear. I also heard this charger, the name of it, charges iPhone 15 from five to 20% in just nine minutes. So I started, so I plug it in. But then, to make this a fair test against the UK one, I had to take a drink of cold water or iced water, which is gonna be hideous. And then depending on how much time the video is, cause I need it to be some, I want it to be just over 60 seconds, somewhere between 60 and 75 seconds. So if need be, I could show some kind of like internet findings that it does affect the flavor. I don't know if it does. And then get to nine minutes, the phone has charged to 20% and the flavor is still strong, which makes me question why I don't trust 
things in America being bigger and better. But deep down, I don't want the UK gum to lose to the US gum. So then I'm like in a difficult situation. Do I keep chewing it? Do I pretend I never did this challenge and just swallow it and swallow? That's quite... I like that a lot, actually. Uh, let me take a picture of this just in case the brand don't like that direction. Jinkies. Pretend I never did this challenge. Or... So I'll... Pretend I never did this challenge. Kept chewing. But right before 15 minutes, accidentally swallow gum. Something's got to happen for me to accidentally. Keep chewing right before 15 minutes, racing to run out of flavor and swallow. Hmm. Yes. And then I look at my phone, Google, like, so I'm worried. So I Google if it stays in system. And this gives me an option to show off the phone percentage and the charger again. Wife just texts me, dude, what are you doing? You woke up Ruger. There's <laughs> loads of hammering going on and it's the guys working on the house doing something. Damn, that's annoying. How do I do this bit? I'm worried so I Google if it stays in system. See, I want to be like, my mum told me it stays in your system for seven years then that doesn't bring back in the phone charger. What if worried, so I text mum, to ask if it stays in system, which will show the battery percentage and the charger. She says yes for seven years. Hey, sorry, I'll turn it off. So now that you've got this, what am I trying to say? Since this is a sponsored post, we now need to plug in like at least the product name. So here, the Anchor Nano Charger. Maybe we'll try and mention it here again. We'll put the Anchor Nano got it to nine minutes in the time. And then you have a shot of it at the end here. Yes. Maybe like it, at the catch area here we can have the Anchor Nano close to the shot. Like in the shot, sorry. Yes, ma'am. So now, back to Notion. I turn this off because Ruger was playing with it. Sponsor is Anchor. I would normally put in the rate here, but the contract says I'm not allowed to share that, I'm afraid. Otherwise I would. All right, so the floor is that I'm un trusting and the strength is that I become trusting slash gullible. So the hook will probably adapt this based on how the part one does, but I'm testing if the flavor in UK versus US gum last different time. I'm testing if the flavor of 
UK gum lasts longer than US gum. Right? And yesterday, the UK gum lasted 15 minutes. The US gum doesn't have the ingredients on the package, so I wanted to see if there was a taste difference. The reason, uh, which we've already got in, so the point of no return, I think I need to update this sheet. Jinkies, that's way mintier. And I'll adjust depending on if the flavor is actually way mintier. My phone near death. Hmm, shall I do this? Should the phone percentage... I need to put in here that the Anchor Nano Charger is only for the iPhone 15. All right, tastes way mintier. Okay, it tastes way mintier. And the internet says everything is bigger and better in the US. But I don't believe everything I hear. Everything I read online. Okay, that is the catch, isn't it? Which I've kind of, internet says. Okay, try one. I also heard Anchor's new nano charger for iPhone 15 charges from 5 to 20% in just 9 minutes. So let's put them head to head. I also heard Anchor's new nano charger for the iPhone 15 chart for the iPhone 15 charges from 5 to 20% in just 9 minutes. So I began the race to see if the flavor would run out first. So I began the race to see if the flavor would run out first. To see if... So I began the race to see... To see if... The phone would get to 20% before the flavor would run out. Okay. Then, when I but yesterday I did something stupid. I drank cold water with the minty gum. But yesterday I did something stupid. I drank cold water with the minty gum. And to make this a fair test, I had to do the same again. But yesterday I drank cold water with the minty UK gum. And to make this a fair test, I had to do the same 
for the US gum. Right, and then the reaction of that. Uh, as I got to nine minutes of chewing, the anchor nano had gotten my iPhone 15 to XX percent. As I got to nine minutes of chewing, the anchor nano had gotten my iPhone 15 to XX percent. As I got to nine minutes of chewing, I couldn't quite, I couldn't believe, I'm not sure about that, I couldn't believe the Anchor Nano had got my iPhone 15 to XX percent. Gum flavor was still super strong, but the gum flavor was still super strong. I started to question if I really was. I'm starting to question if I should really trust everything I read. But the gum flavor was still stupid wrong. Worried. The UK was going to lose to the US. Where the UK was going to lose to the US, I started to question if I should really. Tr I started to question if I should actually start trusting everything I read. What I read. Where the UK was going to lose to the US, I started to question if I should actually start trusting what I read. But right now, I had a choice to make. But right now, I could either keep chewing and risk losing to the US or just pretend I never did this challenge. As the time progressed, um, coming close to the 15 minute mark. Bro, I'm focused. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Coming close to the 15 minute mark. I started chewing like What animals chew fast? Here's what I'm thinking here is that I find an animal that chews fast and then find a popular cartoon character. Does Shrek eat fast? He does, doesn't he? There we go. Shrek Crocs were coming close to the 15 minute mark. The Shrek Crocs gave me speed chewing. Mm. 
No, it's kind of stupid, isn't it? Coming close to the 15 minute mark, I started. Like Shrek, doing everything I could to make the gum run out of flavor. This is a long video. This is long, isn't it? So, 17 minutes and 20. Okay, give me six seconds, five seconds. I'm testing if the flavor of UK gum lasts longer than US gum. And yesterday, the US gum lasted 15 minutes. The US gum doesn't have the ingredients on the package, so I wanted to see if there was a taste difference. Jinkies, that's way mintier. And the internet says everything is bigger and better in the US but I don't believe everything I read online. I also heard Anchor's new Anno, Nano charger for the iPhone 15 charges from five to 20% in just nine minutes. So I began to race to see if the phone would get to 20% before the flavor would run out. But yesterday I did something stupid. I drank cold water with the minty UK gum and to make this a fair test, I had to do the same for the US gum. As I got to nine minutes of chewing, I couldn't believe the Anchor Nano had gotten my iPhone 50 to X percent already. But the gum flavor was still super strong. Worried the UK was going to lose to the US, I started to question if I should actually start trusting what I read. I could either keep chewing and risk losing the, to the US, or just pretend I never did this challenge. Coming close to the 15 minute mark, I started chewing like Shrek, doing everything I could to make the gum run out of flavor. So that was just over a minute. When I accidentally Swallowed, swallowed. And then we'll have the FaceTime call. Hmm. At least I got a fully charged phone. When I accidentally swallowed it. Worried to death, I asked my mum. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Worried to death, I asked my mum if swallowed gum, I may not even need to put that, stays in your system for seven years. She says yes. At least I have a charged phone. I don't like that last line. Well, at least I have a charged phone. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on this for an hour before I send it off. Before I do that, I'm gonna put in phone on table with Anchor Nano next to it. Phone on table with Anchor Nano next to it in the background of this shot. So this is gonna be like really the first show of the product. So um, you, I think this is where we take a look at the features. So I'm gonna flip up the USB-C. Flip up USB-C and plug into phone. Show charging percentage. Charge. 
See now I really, this is one other part to me. I like what you would call cinematic shots. So it's where certain parts of the shot, like you'll see this in movies, certain parts of the shots are blurry, but something, something is in focus. How am I gonna say this? So I would consider this shot to be very cinematic. Like let's say, like this is something you might see in a movie. So the focus here is this, and you can see I'm slightly out of focus. So like, let's say it would be a movement of this. Like flipping annoying that that is on in the background. Let's just kill that. Okay, let's start it again. <laughs> Looking for where the mic is, thinking it's here. So I'm working here. And yes, I thought the good King Wentzless. Right, so this is in focus and is the attention of the shot. But I found like that doesn't work well in this casual story style format, especially on TikTok, because people can see through the fact that it's set up. Even though this whole thing is set up and people can probably work that out, you're trying to make it look like it's completely authentic. Authentic. Like it's a natural story. I do question myself if that sounds dishonest or not, but I like doing this. I'm not... It's not like I'm lying to prom... It's not like I'm lying about how good a product is to try and promote it. I'm just making entertainment for people, is how I think about it. Right, there you go. Good. Good. As I got to nine minutes of chewing, I couldn't believe the battery percentage and charger. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Oh, damn it. I forgot to screen record. Sorry. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to sit on that for like an hour or so. I'll come back and read it and then probably send that off to the client. So many other tasks I didn't even get a chance to get to today. But that's okay. I'll get to those tomorrow. I can see my wife playing basketball outside. I'm going to go play some basketball. Check on this in a bit. So I, Michael Scott spin move, will see you tomorrow. Yeah, all right. See you tomorrow. You, unless I make changes and I'll see you in now.